key words fill your feelings colors translucent smoky brown to black corresponding chakras the root chakra navel chakra corresponding celestial bodies pluto and chiron corresponding number zero corresponding element fire harness on the mo scale five to five point five corresponding astrological sign scorpio Peace, what's good, everybody? It's the Copper Child, Mike L. And I'm talking about the crystal none other than Obsidian Apache Tear. And welcome to the Conscious Black Crystal Connection. It's another book club episode, a book club edition. And today, the book of the day, there's two books of the day. The first book of the day is The Essential Guide to Crystals, Minerals, and Stones by Margaret Ann Limba. And the second book of the day is The Book of Stones by Robert Simmons and Nasha Shine. And so I was just reading about Obsidian and Apache Tear. So let's get to it. Affirmation. I completely embrace my feelings and allow them to come to the surface. Feelings of anger, sorrow, and grief will pass as I release them from my body. I open myself up to the healing energy of the love and prayers people send to me. Spiritual uses. Apache Tears support all types of grieving processes, but they are especially sympathetic when trying to cope with the grief associated with suicide. Turn to Apache Tears to give you the strength as you experience an array of emotions from guilt, anger, blame, shame, and confusion to relief, despair, betrayal, abandonment, and acceptance. Apache Tears can connect survivors with departed loved ones who chose to die as they gain the necessary spiritual understanding to cope with their decision. Mental uses. Apache Tears can help ground you and keep you focused. Use the stone to keep your mind on the task at hand. It is also beneficial for maintaining a positive outlook, keeping negative thoughts at bay. Use it to deflect negative energy. Emotional uses. Apache tears support you during periods of grief and mourning. Although there is an inconsolable aspect to missing someone close to his past, this volcanic black glass reminds you that you can turn to others for support while allowing your feelings of grief to take their normal course, which can be very rocky at times. Physical uses. Apache tears can help you with physical aches that often come with grief. The stress associated with sorrow can cause physical pains in your bones and muscles. On the other hand, physical tears are psychologically beneficial. If you are having a hard time letting yourself cry, regardless of whether or not it is grief associated, this stone can help prime the pump of your tears. Divine Guidance Are you in need of a good cry? Are you feeling sad over a loss? There are so many reasons to allow ourselves to grieve the passing of a loved one, a job, a way of life, or anything that has changed from one way of being to another way of being. Acknowledge the angst and move through it. Embrace the possibility of a happy life again. About the stone. Apache tears are small pieces of decomposed obsidian. Natural glass, composed of two-thirds silica or more, formed during the cooling of volcanic lava. They are commonly found in the American Southwest. Yeah, so that's what we have. There we have it. That's uh, an Apache tear, and uh, it's a it's a type of obsidian. And uh, yeah. So as I said, there are two books of the day, and the second book of the day is the Book of Stones by Robert Simmons and Nasha Shah. In this particular book, they don't have Apache tears listed, or at least if it is, I can't find it. So we're going to learn about mahogany obsidian. It's another type of obsidian. And here we go. Key words. Release from inner limitations. Healing feelings of unworthiness. Corresponding element is earth. Corresponding chakras, the root chakra and the second chakra. Mahogany obsidian is a mixture of colors, jet black and reddish brown, and undulating or spotty patterns. The reddish brown color is similar to the wood mahogany. The reddish brownish color is similar to the color of the wood core mahogany. So here's what Robert Simmons has to say. Mahogany obsidian can help cleanse the second chakra of negative energies and residue from old wounds. Such fixations can block the flow of one's creative energies or create problems in the full expressions of one's sexuality. So it is important to work to make sure that chakra operates freely. Using mahogany obsidian in meditation, or especially in body layout, between the first and second chakra, one can draw out the poison of old unconscious memories of shame, humiliation, abuse, releasing them into the light for dissolution and healing. 
Mahogany obsidian can remove negative psychic implants that hold one back in other areas. It is ideal for dispelling feelings of worthiness that hold one back for fulfilling one's potential on work, love, and spiritual awakening. Carrying or wearing mahogany obsidian shields one from psychic attack, whether it be from negative entities on the astral plane or an unconscious co-worker's attempt at a put-down. It is a bit like having an etheric bodyguard. Mahogany obsidian works harmoniously with Tibetan black quartz, shook light, and black tourmaline. In regard to providing psychic protection, Zensite helps in healing wounds to the second chakra. Bringing in Moldavite is useful in helping one to move beyond past limitations. So now let's hear what Naj Jashan has to say. Mahogany obsidian is useful for those choosing to move out of scarcity mindedness and into abundance. It helps reveal limitations one has created due to fear and perceived separation. It is supportive, clearing, and energizing to the first and second chakras. Spiritual, mahogany obsidian assists in opening and clearing the grounding channel, which is critical for one if one is to embody the full spectrum of energetic frequencies. Emotional, mahogany obsidian helps one dissolve ancestral patterns of abuse, negativity, hatred, or fear that are ingrained in the DNA and emotional body. It is helpful in clearing birth trauma for mother and child and can be a wonderful aid in the rebirthing experience. Physical, mahogany obsidian strengthens the organs and tissues. It supports detoxification by increasing the liver and kidney function, enhancing the body's ability to discharge poisons. Affirmation, I am worthy of the blessings of a good and fruitful life. So there we have it. That's uh, the Book of Stones, and they're talking about mahogany obsidian. And uh, that's Robert Simmons and Nasha Sean. And once again, thanks for tuning in to the Conscious of Black Crystal Connection. This is another book club episode. This is Heru Frequency Programming. And this is the Copper Child Mike L. I'm going to say thanks again and peace.